Hey there, what's happening? My name is Brian Fryer, your social media upline. Welcome to today's training. Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you being here. Uh, for those who uh, may be tuning in for the first time and are like, you know, hey, who's this guy right here? This gray shirt thinks he's talking about social media and helping network marketers and all that cool stuff. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Uh, my name is Brian Fryer and I help teach network marketers, direct sales consultants, how to leverage social media the right way to grow their business. Notice how I said the right way, right? Okay. Something very, very important we're going to talk about in today's training, and that is the importance of branding your own self, right? You know, the importance of building your own brand on social media. This is something I believe that gets completely overlooked by probably about 98% of our amazing profession. Today, I want to share a, a handful of tips on why I believe you should really, really, really hone down on understanding the importance of building your own personal brand and not just the company or necessarily the products that you represent. As I see many of you guys starting to populate, hey, what's happening? Eric, Christina, Janet, over here on our fan page, what's happening? Mary, what's happening? Appreciate you guys being here. Hey, Elaine, how, how are you? Thank you guys so much for being here. Now let's do this real quick. As I see many of you starting to populate, do me a favor. As I know we've got folks tuning in from all around the globe today, drop a comment down below. Let me know where you guys are plugging in from. Where are you watching from? Are you over here in the United States? Are you over there in Australia, in the UK, uh, Denmark? Where are you? Let me know where exactly you are tuning in from. I'm really, really excited about today's topic because I get questions literally every single day from network marketers who are struggling. Okay, they are they've burnt out their warm market. They uh, they've posted you know all about their products and company all over social media. They have you know they, they they they've done exactly what they've been instructed to do, yet they haven't achieved the results that they thought they would have achieved by this point. And Let's be honest, I believe that in this day and age with uh, the acceleration of uh, this, you know, of technology in general, uh, more and more people are looking to social media, you know, that are in the network marketing profession to try and leverage their time to grow a bigger business, right? Would, would you guys agree or any of you on here today, you know, that are trying to use social media to grow your network marketing to direct sales business? Maybe some things are working a little bit here, a little bit there, but overall, it's just kind of been a struggle. It's kind of, you know, still trying to figure out exactly what you should and should not be doing to grow your business, right? You're being told you're supposed to do this. You're being told you're supposed to do that. You're being told to go try this or to go do that. But, you know, those aren't just, those aren't really producing the results that you had hoped. Here comes Coach Fryer with his Superman cape. Yes, here I am, your social media upline. I am your partner in this. I want to teach you how to do this the right way. So let me do a quick shout out to you guys real quick, just because I love you guys. Christy's with us from D.C. Gina is in Northern Cali. Christine is in SoCal. Uh, Lourdes is over in uh, New Jersey. Welcome. appreciate you being here. Elaine over in the U.K. Janet's in Minden, Nevada. Welcome, Janet. Sherry's over in Missouri. Uh, Shantae is in Arizona. Rachel's in Pennsylvania. Christy, what's up? She's in Cali. Carol's over in Iowa. As you guys continue to keep commenting, love it, love it, love it. Awesome. Hey, Jennifer, what's happening? <laughs> yes, Janet says, here I come to save the day. Yes, here I come. So let's dive into today's content, shall we? Um, if you have not already, down the bottom left-hand corner of this particular video, my motto is sharing is caring. You and I both know there's some folks out there that need to hear this message. They're out there spamming their walls. They're out there, you know, sending unsolicited links to, you know, via private message to their friends and family. They're out there joining all these Facebook groups and just posting repeatedly and wondering why they're not generating any sales and getting any customers. They're out there trying to do things, you know, in weird fashions. You know, hey, if you buy my product, I'll buy your product. That's that's not how we do this, folks. That's not how we leverage social media the right way. So today, Let's dive in. We're going to talk about the importance of building your own personal brand. Notice how I didn't say your business brand. I said your own personal brand on social media. Now, I'm going to give you the answer first, and then I'm going to dive into a, about a handful of tips and suggestions, okay? So why would you want to build 
your own personal brand. I know, I know many of you out there right now, you're a part of a company, you've got great products, your compensation plan is the next thing since sliced bread. You think that you are just steering clear. Everything is, you know, just hogs in heaven. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful picture. You're hanging out on the beach drinking your cocktails. And, you know, you think everything is just fantastic. All right. Here's what I want you to understand is that when we take our products, our company, all of that stuff, I know it's very exciting. When we take that that picture, that message, all of that, and translate that to social media and portray that message, right, that visual to all of our friends and family. They immediately associate you with that product or you with that business, and that is actually repelling them away from you and deteriorating your own personal brand. Your own personal brand, if you're taking notes, write this down, your own personal brand will literally help separate you from the masses. I don't know which company you may be in at this very given moment, but I'm assuming there's, you know, a thousand, five thousand, fifty, a hundred, maybe five hundred thousand, maybe a million other distributors in your company, many of which you know are on social media out there probably doing things the wrong way. My question for you is how are you going to stand out? How are you going to stand out from all the rest of the noise? Right? So building your own personal brand is going to help separate you from the masses. This, my friends, I hope you're thinking big here. I hope you're seeing the bigger picture here. This equals massive success for you. All right, guys? So let's dive in. I want to dive into these, these four tips, but I got one more quick question before we dive in. Billy Funkster, what's happening? Shelly, Sarah, Kristen, uh, Rihanna, what's happening? Appreciate you guys being here. I would love your guys' feedback real quick. I love to interact with you, right? This is cool. This is, you know, social. I love, you know, just, just chit-chatting with you guys. Answer this question for me in the comment section below, okay? Do you believe you will have more success blending in with all the other distributors in your company or standing out from all the other distributors in your company on social media? Be 100% honest with me. I love transparency. I don't sugarcoat. I don't hype. I don't fluff with you. I wouldn't expect you to do the same with me. Answer in the, in the comments section below. Do you believe you will have more success blending in with all the other distributors, not only in your company, heck, with the entire profession out there just looking like a dang infomercial, Right? Okay, you know those late night ads, you know, buy this product, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. Right? Okay. You're going to have more success blending in or you're going to have more success standing out. Okay? I don't think there will even be a shadow of a doubt question that someone is going to comment, say, I, you know, I would rather blend in, Coach Fryer. Right? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't believe that to happen. I'm looking at all the comments scrolling down here. Everybody is saying standing out. Yeah, Rihanna, standing out. Pam, Shane, Jennifer, Sherry, Christine. Yes, standing out, standing out, standing out. I think it's unanimous, right? Standing out. So I think the, the message that I'm sharing is starting to register with you guys. Okay, so let's dive into these four points, okay? So, number one, I want you to understand this. The importance of building your own personal brand on social media, okay? I want you to understand, number one, write this down if you're taking notes. You can literally have, you can literally have, check this out. You can literally have the best product or product line in the entire profession, you can have the best product in the entire world in your network marketing direct sales company. But here's the deal. Nobody cares. You could have the absolute most miracle cream, weight loss, shake, uh, makeup line. You could have the best line, the best product in the entire world. But here's the problem. If people, especially those who are surrounded uh, by you on social media, if they do not know, like, or trust you, or think maybe you're an, infom you're an infomercial and that's all you do is post about your business all the time, right? Okay. If people don't know, like, and trust you, guess what? They're not only going to not buy from you, they're most likely not going to join you on that venture. And even worse, 
they may just unfollow you or even unfriend you because they're, they're sick and tired of seeing all the garbage you are posting. Okay, a couple of bad things happen when, when, when this happens. Not saying you need to be friends with everybody, not saying that this is all about how many friends and followers you have. That's not what this is about, okay? This is about understanding the importance of building your own personal brand and not out there hawking products. I don't care how good your products are. You want to be successful on social media? You've got to establish and build your own personal brand. If they don't know, like, and trust you, they're not going to join you. They're not going to buy you or they're not going to buy from you, right? Okay, but take it a step further. They're going to now, from this point forward, associate you, you, your name, your name. That's the, 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 the name they keep seeing on their social media newsfeed, slapping all this garbage all over the place. They now associate you with an infomercial, a spammer. All you do is try to sell stuff. You're in sales rather than seeing or even being open to what you know benefits your product may have what benefits the network marketing profession has as a whole you guys are absolutely eliminating that right from the start okay so this is a big big deal when i'm you know when i'm sitting here teaching you the importance of building you know and establishing your own personal brand okay so number 1 you can have the best products in the world doesn't matter okay let's dive into number 2 why would you want to build your own personal brand on social media. Number two, people, your friends, your followers, your warm market, your cold market, all the people you're associated and connected to on social media and those you're not even yet connected to that you will be connected to in the near future. People, we as general, we, we, we in general, people, we want to be associated with, we want to work with people who are winners. We want to work with, we want to be associated with people who are positive, right? Would you guys agree? Leave me some comments down, down in the comment section below. Type a one in the comment section below if you like being around other people that are positive. Okay? Type a one in the comment section below. We've got a ton of live viewers on today. Appreciate you guys being here. So uh, I, I would highly suggest if you like being around positive people, type a one in the comment section below. If you don't comment a one, if I don't get 40 or 50 ones right about now, I'm going to assume some of you out there are hiding behind your camera right now. You don't want me to know that you're on here actually watching my video and you're sitting in your mind saying, nah, nah, to heck with all those positive people, right? They're just, they're just goody goodies. They're, they're, they're on their own page. They're in their own world. They're doing their own thing, right? Okay. Hi to all my haters. How are you? Okay. People want to be around and work with other winners. Here's the thing. Okay. It is absolutely attractive. So the importance of building your own personal brand on social media and establishing your name, establishing trust, likability, credibility, all those things with all your friends and followers, okay, that is attractive, okay? You know what ends up happening a lot of the times is people will come to you and want to buy your products. People will come to you and want to join you in business, not because you got a cool product, not because you posted about you got this new addition to your compensation plan. They're going to join you because you are you. You are you. They're going to join you because you are you. You've heard this a million times. I'm going to say it again, right? People join people. They don't join products or companies. The same thing applies for you trying to grow your business on social media. People don't care about your products. They don't care about your compensation plan. They don't care about a $500 bonus that they can earn if they get in right this moment, right? Stop thinking short term. Let's think how we can go out there, serve other people to the best of our ability for the long run, okay? I got long-winded there. Yes, I see a gazillion ones in the comment section. Kudos to each and every one of you guys for keeping it real, all right? Let's dive into my third tip on the importance of building your own personal brand on social media, okay? Is when you do this, when you start, many of you who follow me, you're starting to, you're starting to understand this. Light bulbs are starting to go off. Okay, Coach Fryer says, you know, stop blending in, start standing out, stop posting about my products, stop posting all about my business, start contributing some value, some information, some inspiration, right? Entertainment, start providing value to your audience. Here's what happens, guys. Here's what happens when you do this and you're starting to establish your own personal brand on social media is you are seen as an immediate authority. 
That's, you know, now I know you guys are sitting there saying, well, Coach Fryer, I, you know, that's cool. You know, what the heck does that mean? Well, if you're in the health and wellness space, right, you sell shakes, you sell weight loss, you sell, uh, you know, cleanses, you sell this, you sell that, right, okay? Become the health and wellness go-to resource. Share health tips. Share meal prep tips, right? Start, start diving into all of those types of conversations, okay? You will be seen as the go-to person in the health and wellness Space. Next time one of your friends or family members, right, or followers on Facebook see that you're adding and contributing value each and every day, next time they have a problem occur, next time a need comes to mind, they want to lose 10 pounds before this wedding they got invited to in two weeks from now, right? Who's the first person that comes to mind? You do. You do. You have established your own personal brand. You have established yourself as a credible resource or authority. And now those friends, those followers start coming to you wanting to buy your products or maybe better yet, join you in business. I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. You guys got the fireworks show blasting off right now. You guys are rocking and rolling, okay? And I want you to understand that uh, you may be saying right now, well, Coach Fryer, I'm brand new. You know, I just joined a new company. You know, I'm just, I'm just actually getting started in network marketing. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Today, right now, could be your very first day in network marketing, indirect sales. Doesn't matter what company, doesn't matter what products, doesn't matter what service. You can start applying what I'm teaching you right now Start having light bulb moments going off. A lot of you guys are commenting little light bulbs. Yes, this is powerful stuff, guys. This is powerful, powerful stuff. I want you to understand that when you start establishing yourself as an immediate authority in your respected niche, this is going to create unlimited opportunities for you if you will just be consistent with it. I get messages all the time, Coach Fryer, why do, you, why do you always continue to put out videos? Why are you doing, why do you create content? You, you do a little bit of storytelling, you inspirational quotes, uh, you know, you're always positive, you're, you're sharing a little bit about your faith, you're, you're dropping these videos and giving us wisdom and nuggets almost every single flipping day. Why do you continue to do that? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but over the course of the last 8 to 12 months, more and more folks in our profession are seeing Coach Fryer as the established resource and authority for getting help, for getting wisdom, for getting knowledge on how to take XYZ company, XYZ products and actually go out there and produce results and build an organization and acquire customers using social media and doing it, my friends, the right way. I want you to understand that you can do the very exact same thing, whatever company, whatever products you are currently promoting, okay? I got, uh, oh my gosh, I got off track there. Let's, let's, let's keep going. We'll keep, try to keep this here about 20 minutes. Number four, for those of you guys taking notes, is uh, the world's biggest resource. So the importance of building your own personal brand on social media, you guys have been literally given a gift. When I say you, I mean we. Maybe I shouldn't have said you. Maybe I should have said we, right? Sorry, I got off on a tangent there. Maybe, maybe let's say we. Let's just be, let's just call it what it is. Guys, we are all extremely, extremely blessed. I'm going to share with you why. We literally have the world's biggest resource right here, right now, at our fingertips. I'm sitting here in my house in Indiana. I don't know where the heck you got. You guys are tuning in from all over the freaking globe. And because of this amazing resource, you're able to tune in. I'm here welcoming you into my office, providing some wisdom and value for you today. The world's biggest resource, guys, is at your fingertips. It's the internet. You could also argue that, you know, yes, social media. That's part of the internet. If we will take a step back, learn and understand how to leverage social media and the internet correctly, the possibilities, my friend, are endless for you. They're endless. The possibilities are endless for you. Before I jump into number five, have you guys shared this video yet? I mean, are you kidding me? We got all these live viewers on here and I've only seen maybe a dozen shares. I mean, come on. Sharing is caring. Let's go, right? Number five, let's dive into the last one here, okay? When you understand the importance of building your own personal brand on social media, 
there's a huge shift that's going to start to occur for you, for your family, for your life, and for your business. This huge shift, I'm speaking directly to those trying to build your business on social media, this huge shift from chasing people, literally like a marathon, private messaging all these people, chasing them down, you show them your stuff, you don't hear from them for a week, right, okay? Chasing people, trying to sell people stuff, this huge shift from chasing people to then attracting people is going to be a big, big deal for you, my friends. When you start to understand the importance, when you start to actually, you're learning right now, now you need to go out there and start applying what you are learning, right? You need to go implement. You need to go take action on what you just learned. You will slowly start to see this shift from you having to go feel like you're chasing people to all of a sudden, you've got an established you know, personal brand on social media, okay? You're going to start attracting people to you. I got a, a, a very, very uh, just genuine, uh, amazing testimonial from one of our clients uh, yesterday. She did a testimonial video for us. And, uh, you know, she's been in the profession a couple of years and, and she's always felt like she's out there chasing, out there selling, out there chasing, out there selling. I don't know. Can any of you guys relate to that? Right? Hey, do any of you guys, let's do this real quick. Any of you guys feel like that? Just type a yes in the comment section below if you feel like you're out there a lot of the times trying to chase people, right? You're literally hunting them down, right? Okay, and they're MIA, right? They're, 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 all of a sudden, they vanished. Facebook Messenger, you send them a message, right? It says sent. It says seen. Sorry, it says seen by them. So now you know they've seen it, and all of a sudden, they don't answer for weeks, and you're like, oh my gosh, the Facebook Messenger, uh, you know, goblins got them and gobbled them up, right? Okay, something crazy happened to them. I have no idea, right? This shift from chasing people to attracting people, literally waking up to messages in your inbox every single day with people wanting to know more about what it is you do, wanting to know more about your products, your company, your business, all that stuff, all that is possible. But you have to be willing to invest your time, money, resources, all of that into learning uh, how to establish and building your own personal brand on social media. Without doing this, my friends, what I just shared is damn near impossible. You will continue to struggle. You will continue to chase people. You will continue to feel like the hunted and not be able to chill out once in a while, you know, uh, learn how to market correctly and now attract people to you. I know there are those of you out there right now who are in that very same position that I just shared. You, you, you know you need to build a brand. You know you need to start comprehending, learning, and now implementing and applying what Coach Fryer just taught you. But you're like, okay, Coach Fryer, I know what to do, but you know, I, I got some questions. I need, I, I need a little bit more details. I need to understand a little bit further on how to go implement what you just taught us. Well, there are those of you out there right now, I know you're looking for additional support. I know you're looking for that uh, amazing environment, safe haven, a community, a coach who's going to be there for you to walk you through this, who is literally your partner with you in your business. There are those of you out there right now who are looking for that. I would highly, highly encourage you to send me a private message. Say, Coach Fryer, I need help. I would love to show you some of the options that we have available to see if this may be a good fit for you. We are here to serve. We are grateful to have the opportunity to continue to serve. It's time to get off the fence it's time to get out there, start building, establishing your own personal brand and start attracting people to you and stop being that typical infomercial that everybody else in your company is right now on social media out there blasting all over the place. It's time for you, my friend, to stop blending in and start standing out. Send me a message immediately following this video. Guys, I hope you got some value from today's video. If you did, again, feel free to like, comment, Share this video with your teams in your VIP groups. Tag them in the comments. Do whatever you feel is necessary. I hope you got some value. I hope this was helpful. If it was, hey, let me know. All right, guys. God bless you. We'll see you on the next training. Take care.